What's up guys? I hope you're having a great day. It's me Chris and I've got another great video for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at the PlayStation 5 DualSense wireless controller. I got one a little early. As you know the system will be dropping sometime next week and from what I hear it's going to be pretty hard to get your hands on. So one of my accessories has come in. I've got some other accessories coming also but I want to take a look at the controller today because I want to see how it feels in my hand and I want to give you my honest opinions on it. I also want to compare it to my current daily driver and I want to compare it to the PlayStation 3 controller. And I also want to talk to you about some of the plans that I have to open it up and start to mod it. Let's start with the box. So up front is nice and clean. PlayStation went with the all white look this time around. Um, and as you can see, we've got PlayStation right here, Sony, you've got uh, a, a nice photo image of the controller up front. You've got dual wireless controller for the PS or dual sense wireless controller for the PS5. White and blue box. Obviously you guys know the drill. They're gonna be coming out with more colors for this thing. So don't even trip, it's coming. Uh, let's look at the back of the box just briefly. It says haptic feedback, which the other controller had. You have adaptive triggers, which is slightly different. You have built-in microphone. You have signature comfort. Hmm and it says hiding your senses at the top with the image of the controller it says discover a deeper highly immersive gaming experience that brings the action to life in the palms of your hands interesting so yeah uh, this is what we got right here let's go ahead and open it up brought the knife to the party i was going to do this earlier i got josh here with me by the way too he's just being coy over there because this is our first time seeing this thing. And I think they spend too much money on the package and just give me this in the bag and knock $10 off the price. I don't need all of this. Come on, Sony. Um, one of the things that made me sad, I don't know if you know this or not, Josh, but word on the street is, is that you cannot use PlayStation 4 controllers at all on the PlayStation 5 unless you are playing backwards compatible content that is nothing more than a cash grab <laughs> and i don't like that at all if i can get this thing out y'all i'm talking and fighting um, i don't like that at all because i bought an astro controller as you guys know man this box freaking what the heck get out of there um all right i think that's everything this this cardboard is like glued in here you guys i'm not making this up it, 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 the only way to get it out Ugh. Got to do the Incredible Hulk. It's like press fit in there or something. That's the little part that was holding it together. Again, oh, well, like, what's with all of that, man? We don't need all that. Give me the controller strictly in this box right here, in this bag right here with a zip tie around it. Save $10. Save some of the environment with that cardboard and we straight. All right, guys, this is my first impression. So I, you saw I just cut the label. I haven't looked at this and I've actually had it for a couple days. I just wanted to wait so we can do this together. it is yeah um, i'm gonna tell you straight off the bat i like that deep i like this transparent look to it i'm gonna zoom in and give y'all some some closer effects here hopefully i'm trying to do two things at the same time so this is the controller um this is up close and personal here um i will tell you the touchpad feels a lot more clicky it feels more substantial in the hands and let me get behind the camera so i can show you better how what I mean and I'm gonna back off a little bit I know I'm going in and out sorry for making you sick but I like the way that feels in my hands I think it feels pretty good it feels more xboxy which is what I what was hoping for uh the analog still suck so I'm definitely going to swap those out face buttons are pretty good and I like the way that they sit I don't know how well y'all can see that they're indexed pretty much flat but they're clear um, and hopefully they, somebody makes some clear PS buttons that I can mod in here as well. So this is really cool. I don't know what all I'm going to do to this thing because it's already got a light up feature, but we'll be taking it apart at some point. Uh, DualSense is the big feature this generation, at least right now. And also, re really importantly, you have USB-C. So they went away from that other USB. Uh, I think they went from uh, mini or yeah, mini to micro. To this and I'll show you those iterative changes here in a second but USB-C is freaking awesome um, the triggers which are important if you're playing shooters really awesome feels really good so far 
See if it's got any juice. My stomach's like, Arr. I know. <laughs> Let's see if this thing's got any juice. My stomach's like growling like crazy. Uh, yeah, it's lighting up, and you really can't see it because it's more subtle this time around, which is awesome. But yeah, I mean, you can kind of see. Let me turn the lights off. Hold on. Trick or treat's over, I know, but there you go. So yeah, you can see that there's something there, which is what we wanted to see. That's awesome. And yeah, I think, you know, it's cool. Um, as far as I can tell, there ain't no charging cable in this thing, bro. Uh, check that box and make sure. <laughs> I, I don't think there's a charging cable in here. Um, uh, no, I don't see it on any of the literature. There's nothing on this literature that talks about a charging cable. It does talk about everything else, so no charging cable. I guess you got to use your Apple stuff or, or your Android smartphone stuff to charge this thing. I, or I'm also assuming maybe there's going to be a, well, surely there's going to be a charging cable that comes with the console. So you'll get the one with the console, and I think that'll work and it'll be just fine. Uh, what I want to do next is I want to show you some comparisons. Let me put the cutlery away. And I want to first talk about its outgoing controller because I think that's probably an important comparison. That is going to be the PlayStation 4 controller. And I just happen to have one right here. And this controller is a lot different. Uh, not just because it's modded and this is a special one, but as you can see, just the size and this one's more pointy is longer um, at the top the buttons are much different and again that's a micro usb then you've got usb type c it's just a bigger controller and that was one of the things that i was complaining about with playstation for a minute i actually liked the xbox controller better because it was bigger and i think a lot of people did and playstation didn't really comment on that but as you can see they slick went and changed the size because there's no doubting that this controller is bigger than the previous generation. Now, just wanna leave this one back in the cut. When you compare the PS3 controller to the PS4 controller, as you can notice, there's very little difference. The PS3 is a little more blocky, but the PS4 controller looks like it's just a little bit more refined. But for the most part, it looks almost identical minus the elephant in the room and the microphone. So they made it a little taller, but Otherwise, they're very similar and it got slightly bigger in this generation as well as you can see The PlayStation 4 is bigger than the PS3. So each generation is getting bigger and bigger So by PlayStation 6, we're gonna have a screen in the controller and we're just gonna do away with the console That's probably where we're headed. But um, as you can see again, we went from uh, This type USB, I can't remember which is micro and mini. I think this is mini and this is micro USB if I, somebody correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I think that's meaning that's micro, that you had mini on the three, you had micro on the four, and you got USB-C on the five. Uh, the stick design again, or, or the R2-L2 are a little different. They got more refined. They went shorter again on the newer controller. And let's see if I can do all three of these without causing a major, major key. Nobody ain't showed y'all this shit. Y'all gotta give me a like and subscribe for that. Look at that. Three generations right here. Granddaddy, daddy, and son. So yeah, you get all three of those just to kind of show you. And I don't have any real mods going on right now, but I just want to show you these. You can also see that they've moved the placement on the new controller of L2 or L1, L1, L2, R1, R2 to the insides as opposed to being dead center on the older controllers but you still can tell this is a sony controller show you a side profile again each generation gets bigger you got three four and five on top just to give you some idea and reference now i stopped playing a while ago with a playstation with a playstation uh four controller and the reason was is because it, i thought it was too small and i played with a bunch of different controllers a hori pad and then i went out and spent all my money and bought this guy, which is what I play with all the time now, which is the Astro controller. And this is the C40 controller. And it's obsolete because from what I'm hearing, you can't use this to play all of the content. And Astro's even posted about it on their website. And they basically said, sorry, it's not our fault. It's Sony. They're doing that old Spider-Man where they're pointing at each other. 
um, it's not us, it's Sony, um, you know, new generation. And the problem with that is this control is not that old and I wanna say it was either 200 or $250. So it was very expensive and now it's a pile of, of, of junk. And I've got two options. The smart thing would be to sell it to a PlayStation 4 person because there's gonna be a lot of those that are adopting because prices are gonna go down this holiday season. But I ain't always been the smartest person. So I'm gonna rip this thing apart and use the parts for my PlayStation 5 controller. So I'm going to harvest these thumbsticks or these uh, analogs and a few other things. Stay tuned for that video. But I really like the size and girth of this controller. I also like how the triggers are, well, the, really the L2 and the R2 are really pronounced. I just think it's a good controller. But what's interesting now then when we go side to side, notice these controllers are very similar in size. Hmm. You got a little bit more room under the bottom on the on the native PS5 controller, but these controls are very similar in size. I think the, this controller obviously looks more like an Xbox controller, but as you can see, the PlayStation 4 controller is slowly getting closer and closer to that size and that weight. If any of you have the, the uh, C40 controller from Astro, it feels very similar in, in weight and girth to the PlayStation 5 controller, which makes me happy. But you know, I won't know until, you know, if we're gonna get drift or anything like that, analog drift, until I actually get a chance to play with this thing. Now, one thing that's definitely gotta go and one thing that they definitely didn't change were these raggedy analogs. Look, it's the same stuff. Same thing, look at this. Same thing, I can't make it up. Same exact ones. And I bet you a hundred dollar bill that they'll fit each other too. So these are trash and they're going in the trash. So these are definitely getting tossed. I would rather them go back to a style similar to PlayStation 3 where it was flat instead of this kind of weird concave convex style, which I just never really liked. Um, I like this style, which is why I'm going to steal these and stick them on here. I think I'm going to steal them if I can. We're going to see. Uh, if not, I'm going to find some sticks from that I've got because I've got a whole pile, as you guys can imagine, of accessories that I like better because I do like the offset. I want this stick to be longer, this stick to be shorter. I also wish in this controller we had the option to swap these out. And maybe PlayStation will come out with a pro controller. I just can't imagine they wouldn't in the fifth gen, but who knows? So. Anyway, you guys, uh, comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I got a whole table of PlayStation controllers here. I got a whole lot more. My daughter is super excited because she's going to be taking over control of my PlayStation 4. And let me move closer so I can get y'all a better up-down image of these controllers. She's going to be taking over the, the, the PS4 once the PS5 arrives. I ordered mine from Amazon, so you know what that means. Who knows when it's going to come. Hopefully next week uh, they're supposed to arrive or, or be available on thursday of next week but we'll see how that goes uh, i'm just going to start piecing everything together and getting my situation right so again my current daily driver my new daily driver this is going to be my first controller that i'm going to tear down and experiment with so if i break it it's not going to be a daily driver <laughs> but hopefully i can i can get in here and work on it and i'm going to see what all we can mod and i'm going to do some research and see uh what's out there um, I'm just looking around and one of the things right off the bat, um, I don't see, like you see screw holes on this guy. You see screw holes on this guy. No screw holes on this guy. So my guess is that this piece pops off some sort of way. I haven't watched any videos on this yet, but my guess is that this piece uh, comes off because I see it's kinda sunken in a little bit. So I'm gonna work to pop that off and then I'm gonna start finding screws. We'll take it apart. We'll see what the insides look like. And then we'll come up with a mod build list for this thing over the next couple weeks. So it should be exciting. Uh, please comment, like, subscribe. Let me know if you're interested in this type of content. Also help me get to 30,000 subscribers. I know I've been saying that for like six years, but <laughs> it'd be nice to hit 30,000 subs, you know, sometime very soon. Uh, and that would really make me happy. I think I know that's not a big deal for some people, but that'd be a big deal for me and I'd really appreciate it. So if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe, especially if you like my content. I got a whole lot of other stuff coming that I'm really excited to share, but uh, today is all about the PlayStation 5 controller, the Dual Sense controller. That's all I got. Take care, have an amazing weekend, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.